Hey everybody and welcome back to the shop. It is Friday evening and uh, just got a part in the mail. I bought this used off of eBay. It's a wiper delayed module. And I didn't know at the time, but I could got a new one from Amazon for $65. I think I give like 30 something for this used one. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works. I got out here yesterday and I'm fooling around with these wires trying to redo some of this uh, this tape and I had one this pink wire right here it was skint and I had taped it up and I got me some uh, liquid electrical tape and put on it now it's going to be kind of dark over here I don't know if y'all have ever used any of this they call it extreme tape basically it comes with plastic on it it don't stick to anything but itself it's very stretchable and it makes a great loom tape because it don't stick to the wires it only sticks to itself and it sticks to itself very well so I'm going to finish doing that but I think first thing we're going to do is get in here and uh, get some light I don't really feel like pulling this truck up so I'm just going to work on it in there we'll grab this light right here we'll brown that don't charge it's a good little light from Harbor Freight. Y'all ain't never seen one. This thing is bright. It's got two settings. It's got a dim and it's got one on the end too. I like the bright one. So just get up under here and uh, undo this one. It's got a zip tie so I'll cut that off. And uh, take just a jiffy we'll be able to test her out and get this hood up and uh, see if this delay module is the issue okay so I've got the module changed out that was a slight pain I end up pulling one of the con terminals out and had to put back so I haven't tried it yet I'm gonna turn the ignition switch on and the other day let me cut this radio off works and the other day when I unplugged uh, this wa washer pump and plugged it back up it would come on so let's try that well that's a good sign I believe that fixed it so I'm gonna turn it on delay well that's on momentary there's delay. I don't have any wiper blades hooked up, so it's just free moving right now. So we ought to hear it kick back on here in a few seconds. It's on low delay. There it goes. All right, so we'll cut it off. I'm gonna turn the washer pump on. You hear the contact clicking. I don't know if that means it's working or not, but of course the wipers are going to come on with the washer switch. And they should shut back off, and they did. So it looks like the, the delay module was the problem. So there you go. If you have a problem with your wipers coming on intermittently uh, and you got delay, that's probably what it is. So I've done a little bit of research on YouTube and I found one guy's video. He had a little older model with the, uh, his wipers were still on the dash. So it was pre-84, like 80, 73 to 83. And he was having an issue where it would come on every 15 minutes. And he replaced his delay module and it went away. So this one was coming on every 30 seconds, 45 seconds, whatever it was. And uh, so fixed so it only cost 30 something dollars i'm glad that module worked because i always i'm always nervous about buying used parts but i hate you know i, I didn't know it at the time that you could even still get new ones but you can the only place i found was on amazon and uh, if i remember i'll stick a link to the new one down here in the description uh they at the time i looked they had the uh the ones for the 73 to 83s, but I think they're 
sold out of those right now so if you got an older model so this one is a delay for or a wiper switch for a 73 to 83 you can see the modules totally different compared to the 84 and up trucks with the switch in the column and these also go bad I believe this is a uh, newer design than the original so I'm hoping this one's good I bought it used for my 83 truck because it's doing the same thing so fixed junk in the trash so here's this uh, extreme tape and I believe I got this off Amazon too and uh, made in USA this stuff works great I bought two rolls of it just for racking wires I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about with this tape the reason it comes with plastic on one side is because it sticks to itself you don't want to to this side so if I take it like that it don't stick see where it's stuck together right here I guess it I guess it does stick but it don't stick as good but if you unwrap it and it's not sticky it, it feels like just soft rubber but if you fold it together it sticks so I'm gonna continue wrapping this up uh, I'm gonna leave I think this one won't come out of so I'm gonna wrap it up all the way to somewhere in here and uh, get this ready to go back you know this is all kind of in the door and exposed and like I said this one had a, a bad spot on I, had, I got another one right here that I got taped up but I'm just gonna leave that taped because it seemed to be working and this one I had taped up but I'm gonna put a little bit of this tape right here and I'll show you I'm just cutting it with my, you know, you can cut it with a knife or whatever you got, but I'm just using these, this tubing cutter. So first one, you want to wrap it on itself, just like you would tape, just kind of get it to hold. And then you can just pull it and stretch it, wrap it tight. And this stuff's also good for radiator hose leaks and stuff like that that says it'll hold pressure I haven't tried it but that to me is better than electrical tape because it ain't sticky so when you get ready to take it off it ain't all gummed up and it's thicker so it really provides a little more protection so I guess that's all for this video y'all appreciate you tuning in and uh, watching these videos and as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't.